Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It is Friday the 28th of April and I'm Nigel Croft. In the first video of today, I'm going to look at the chart of the copper price. Here we'll see um, that we're up against the resistance on the 20 day moving average um, on the daily, but we're getting support from the 20 day moving average on the four hour chart. And we've got resistance on the upside from the 50 day moving average and in the medium term from the downtrend in 200 day. Overall, it looks like copper staying in its downtrend. So we can see straight away that um, the copper price, it's rallied through this week, um, had a very good four day run and it's up against this yellow downtrend in line, which is the 20 day moving average and it's finding resistance. The last three days it's gone up to that level and can't come back down. Uh, sorry, can't go, can't go through it on the upside. Presently, the 20 days at 258.30. So that's a, that's a key level and it is uh, really affecting this market in the short term. Above there, you can see that the blue line is uh, downtrending. That's the 50 day moving average as well. So even if we get through the 20 day, we will find problems at the similar problems at the 50 day. You can also see that I've drawn this downtrend line through the highs of the 13th of Feb and the 30th of March. That is also a factor and signifies the level of the lower highs that we're seeing in this downtrend. Um, if we were to break the downtrend, we'd need a break above this downtrend line and also above this uh, high of the 5th of April which is about 268.2. Looking at the four hour chart, here you can see that we're actually finding support from the 20 moving average um, which is quite interesting in that the 20 day moving average is given resistance. Here we're finding the 24 hour moving average is actually giving support so it'll be quite interesting to see which of those moving averages uh, holds out. Um, a fall below the 24 hour move, moving average in this chart uh, would see the 50 tested. It is moving upwards, so it would be a support at about the 255.30 level. Um, and on the weekly, looking at the longer term, you can see that the 200 day moving average is is the medium term factor. We did go above there in um, the middle of February. We've now come back down below. It's moving down and is a negative trend overall on the market. You can see here as well, the 20 week moving average is tracking down very similar to the 50 day. Um, RSI is showing negative momentum as it tracks down and the MACD as well uh, is tracking down. Looking at the support resistance levels, um, as I said, uh, we've got resistance at the 20 day, 258.31, then at the 50 day, 262.51, with the supports at 248.68 and second support at 243.58. So that has been TA for traders looking at the copper price. It remains in its downtrend um, in the short term. Be interesting to see which of the 20 moving averages, the daily or the four hour holds out. My personal opinion is, is that we're going to see the 20 day being the dominant and push the market downwards. It's still in its downtrend and uh, really it should be sold into any upside. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember these videos are for educational purposes only and in my opinion, in no way are they meant as an investment recommendation. Please do read the disclaimer. Thank you.